more than ever, teenagers really need creative outlets to help them grow and to help them make good decisions. Nearly a year out of the classroom, away from friends and after school activities really creates a huge void. As Fox 8's Natalie Wilson explains, the Sparrow's Nest is helping to fill that void with the help of the High Point Community Foundation. The Sparrow's Nest is soaring into new locations. The program, which started in 2008, providing cultural arts and educational activities in Greensboro housing communities, is now thriving in High Point and Jamestown. Even though we haven't been able to go in the schools like we initially had planned on doing this past year, we were able to take some of those students that we were working with at Jamestown Middle School and we, are, we kind of absorbed them in our Greensboro program. So we've been able to still offer um, our reading and book discussions that we offer each month. Um, we're going to have a, a virtual cooking demonstration where all the young men will receive their own box of um, cooking supplies. The program focuses on young men who could fall into bad situations. I think these young men see so many negative things that are thrown at them every day, whether it's the music or what's on TV, what's on the news. It can be overwhelming. And if we don't have um, programs that are offering hope and offering them a hope for a better future, um, I think that's very important. An important part of the Sparrow's Nest is the reading program and the changes that had to be made in these COVID-19 times. And one of the things that the High Point Community Foundation has allowed us to do in um, making our program creative is normally after we finish reading a novel, we've been able to take them on a field trip that has allowed them to kind of bring the book to life. So this time, once again, we haven't been able to go on a field trip. So one of the young men decided that maybe we should do a YouTube video. He actually gathered the information that we took from one of our conversations, our book discussions, and he wrote an open letter to America about my black skin. And so that's one of the projects that we were able to do and we had someone to produce it for us so that we could get it on YouTube. I want to live to fight the injustices which plague our nation. I want to live so my ancestors know they didn't die in vain. We're still fighting. Creating meaningful moments and giving young men the outlet they need to become better adults is what the Sparrow's Nest is all about. In High Point, Natalie Wilson, Fox 8 News. If you would like to learn more about all of the great projects that are being funded by our community foundations, simple, just head to our website, myfox8.com. You'll find it there.